also my new obsession. I literally just like found out about this like this week. I'm talking about how I stalked your girlfriend in high school. Yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you too? Okay. <laughs> You're lying. What's up? Welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali and I live in Austin, but today we are in Dallas, Texas. We just came here for a day and a night. So yesterday we drove up here and it was around like three hour drive. I thought it was four this whole time. So that was kind of a nice surprise. Um, but we drove in last night. We had dinner at Monarch and then we went to a comedy club. And the reason why I'm here is because it's creator day. I don't really know who like made up that holiday. Maybe it was like to know it, but basically like to know it is having an event for creators. And I'm not really sure like how many people are going. The event is obviously in Dallas. So I was like, you know what? I'm not that far away. Like I feel like I should just go. And over the past month, I've really truly learned the importance of connections. So I just want to go and see what it's all about. So I'm excited about that um, but we are going to a coffee shop because we have lots of uh, work to do um, lots of emails for me I found this place that we're going to on TikTok because we've done like the La La Land and like I love La La Land but we've done it multiple times so I wanted to try something new um, this place is called Funny Library and it looks very vibey and kind of dark which honestly I work best in the dark so I'm very excited to try this place out and then we might go to Highland Park for a lunch and the event tonight only starts at like maybe 6 or 6 30 to like 9 so i think we're just gonna drive straight back to austin right after so apparently this coffee shop is in the virgin hotels so we're fine parking now we parked in this lot and i was actually really surprised it's like six dollars for the whole day it actually expires tomorrow morning so love that cheap parking thank you funny library i see it There's actually a lot more seating than we even realized. Look how freaking cool this is. It's so vibey, like I said. And I kind of like that it's dark over here. And you can see there's like outlets all over. So me and Ryan are gonna claim this spot. I just told Ryan when we buy a house, we need to make like a dark corner like this for working because both of us truly just work better at night. And so if we could like, you know, act like it's night <laughs> during the day, That'd be so nice. Also, my new obsession, I literally just like found out about this like this week, but it is putting vanilla syrup in your ice chai. So do an ice chai with oat milk and vanilla syrup. I usually ask for light ice, but I totally forgot this time, so let's do a taste test. Mm. If you like sweet stuff, it's, it just hits. So good. We also got these croissants, and they're massive. So yum. I asked on my Instagram stories for some like recommendations for lunch and dinner and I think I'm between Honor Bar and Sidel's for lunch because I've heard so many good things about those two places so I think those are both maybe located in Highland Park which is a little north um, of Dallas and tonight's event is going to be located in Uptown so I feel like that'll be perfect. What time is it? We've been here for a while and we wanted to stay for a little bit longer, but honestly, we're just really hungry. Our tummies are growling, so we're gonna go probably to Highland Park. Why'd you laugh? You <laughs> switched it up from like a professional. Our tummies are <laughs> I feel like my vocab is literally of a two year old, but it's okay. Um, we're gonna go get some food, but this was such a vibe. Like, I, if I lived in Dallas, I would definitely come back here. Um, but were you productive? Stop, we came out of the Virgin Hotels. There was this like little construction area, but this place is so cute. All these places just have really good aesthetics, and we're gonna just take a quick picture 
taking it with my new favorite camera. This is the Fujifilm X100V and it kind of gives you like that film-like look because there's film simulations built in and you can kind of customize them. So, and the flash on this is so, so good. Ryan took some really, really cute pictures of me in front of that green wall. It was so cute. I also did like a little TikTok video. Um, but now we are going to Honor Bar and I feel like I've heard a lot about this place only because I watch um, Kenzie Elizabeth's vlogs and I feel like Honor Bar is her place to go. Um, so I'm excited to try that. We'll probably have some time after because we're gonna be in Highland Park where all the bougie stores are. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything, but it's always fun to look in there and hopefully it's not raining though because it just started drizzling. Hopefully it clears up a little bit because it is like an outdoor mall, so everything's outside. Um, but <gasps> we, can we go look at the houses around here after that. two? There are also a lot of nice cars around here. Ryan loves a good Dallas trip. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, these aren't even really nice. <laughs> oh Sweet. my goodness, I forgot how nice the houses are. They're so pretty and just so big. Oh, and we were in the Virgin Hotels. Everything's like really just nice and elevated, which means you definitely have to dress more elevated, which I don't know if I like that because I feel like I'm so used to dressing so casual. So I kind of feel intimidated in Dallas, but even the bathrooms in the Virgin Hotels, they had like about 10 like singular stalls and they were massive. I was like, wow, Austin can never because we just don't have that space. I'm ready for a hefty lunch. What about you? I'm starving, Marvin. <laughs> What'd you say? It's not the biggest burger they've ever made. Me too. <gasps> Same guy, shut up. I've been renting a lot of their stuff on um, Rent the Runway lately, so okay. kind of curious. Honor Bar was actually really good. I'm glad that did not disappoint. Um, but when we were at lunch, I was trying to look up like what time it all started. I honestly thought it started at like 6.30, but it actually starts at five. So it's 4.41. We're luckily close to um, LTK's headquarters. So Ryan's gonna drive me over there. What are you gonna do while I'm in there? I need to do a little bit more work. Yeah. Um, but apparently the speaker sessions are only an hour long and then there's just like a, party i'm not sure how long i'm gonna stay it'd be nice if we could like leave not too late from here so we could don't get back at like midnight but um hoping i meet some really cool people and make some really good connections Like that we're back in Austin we drove right after my event so I think it ended around like 8 or something so I think we got home a little bit before 11 so not too bad but then I stayed up because I had to make some selects um, for a campaign um, and I've been pushing it off so I just was like okay we're doing it now so I sent those in and went to bed at like 2 a.m. but it is Friday and I feel like this week has gone by so so slow um, I have a grad session at 11 30 it's currently very gloomy and gross outside it said that it was going to rain and maybe it drizzled a little bit but not like the rain I was thinking so I usually don't shoot on Fridays but I rescheduled one of the girls um to friday from one of the days this week and the day that we canceled on was totally fine like 
perfectly fine. I was like, I was really beating myself up for that one. The next week is my last week of grad season. Well, technically, I guess before graduation. I am taking a trip like the week of graduation and I know on campus that week it gets a little crazy so I'm trying to like steer clear of that. I'm kind of excited for it to end just so I could put so much more time into YouTube because I know I've been really slacking and I feel like it happens every single year around this time which sucks. Um, and next year, you know what? I'm actually really gonna hire a video editor. This morning, we're gonna pick up Sophie. I am at her pickup spot. She was just with our dog sitter for a couple days. And then um, I am gonna go drop her off at home, then go back out, go to Sephora, pick up my online order. I'm so excited. Um, I could only pick up half the things because some of them were only like online exclusive or whatever. Um, so I don't know when those are coming because they were like, yeah, it's gonna take a while since obviously everyone's buying from Sephora during the Sephora sale right now. I definitely went a little bit crazy. Um, I tried to control myself, but I feel like I haven't bought new makeup in so long and especially like makeup brushes. I got a lot of those, so I'm excited to like switch those out and then later tonight I have two friends in town one is a childhood friend she and all her cousins are coming and I actually know the cousins too and then um, one of my friends from Austin but we actually met in Atlanta when we were young but I didn't remember um, she is in town for like a whole month so I'm excited to get to hang out with her I think we just might like drink at my place and then go out so I'm not really sure like exactly the plans because I'm waiting on the bigger group to like let us know and I'll just meet them out and it looks like the weather is supposed to get really sunny today I want to film a bunch of stuff and like take advantage of the light um so we're gonna do that today as well Sophie. hi she's super excited Aww. she just woke up <laughs> hey Sophie she's having hi. a really good nap hello how is Uncle Jeff's? We call the dogs that are Uncle Jeff. I don't know why. <laughs> so cute. I missed you. Ryan doesn't have TikTok and I don't really watch like the Instagram reels that he sends me. So we sit down together and watch like his reels and my TikToks that I send him. Um, and he always sends me dog videos. And when we were out, like we were just like away for two days. But I was like, no, please, please stop showing me these. Cause like low key, I kind of forget about Sophie. <laughs> but if I see like anything dog related, I'm like, oh my gosh, wait, I'm sad. And then last night there was a big thunderstorm. And Sophie hates thunderstorms. Were you okay last night? Yeah. She like wakes us up shaking like the whole time. And I'm like, oh, so annoying. So I was like kind of happy that she's not here so I could like sleep well. But also I felt bad because I know she doesn't like them. So there was a lot of lightning and thunder. But I'm going to go back home, drop her, give her to Ryan, and then head out to Sephora. It is currently 10.05. So I think we'll have like a good amount of time to like look around in case I want to pick anything else up. I am still seeing like TikToks for the Sephora sale and like saving them. <laughs> Guys, uh, it's, you know, my willpower is just like not there. Let me text Ryan that I'm on my way home. Got to UT, just packing up some things in my bag, and we'll head over to the little field fountain to meet our grad. All right, we're done. It's the weekend officially. It was 3 p.m. I definitely thought I would have makeup on and be showered by now, but I wanted to focus on getting my apartment ready for people to see it, um, just because my friend's coming over tonight, and I think she's going to sleep over in the guest room, um, and the guest room is where I've been definitely neglecting it, so I have so many, like, just random things um, everywhere. A lot of these piles are things that I want to film with. I'm hoping to get all that done today, and then um, I had one returns box over there, so I just put away all the other boxes. This is something really exciting. Um, I got the Ninja Creamy. And I honestly just haven't really had the time to like open it and use it. If you guys don't know what this is, lucky you because it's taken over my TikTok for you page and definitely, definitely sold me on like the first two videos I saw. Hopefully today I will get to it and maybe we can like make something, um, but it has to like freeze for I think over 24 hours or 12 hours and then you can like actually make it into ice cream. 
So that is what I'm currently doing. It is a mess. So we need to get this fixed before Mia comes. Last weekend we went to a cocktail bar that's new around our area and I am craving their Mexican martini margarita thingy. It was so, so good. So like perfectly savory and salty. And if it's just me and Mia tonight, I might ask her if she wants to go there instead of just like pre in my house. But obviously if we pre-game at my place, then we save money. So we'll see. We'll see what we're feeling tonight. A lot later, it is five o'clock and I did some work wrapping up some campaigns, preparing some to go live on Monday, and then one I had to submit my creative concept for. So a bunch of just like admin work on the computer to wrap up the week. And now I feel like I need caffeine because I have a long night ahead of me since we're going out tonight. So I think I'm gonna do a chai and then add this like French vanilla stuff in. But to be honest, I don't know how like good this is gonna be because it's sugar-free and it's French vanilla and not just like vanilla. I'm not really sure the difference. Pazzo Classic Chai Latte. And we're just gonna pour this in first. And then we'll do like... And some French vanilla. I'm really hoping I don't mess this up because then I'll like waste all this chai, but let's just do like a little bit. Not bad, not bad. This was expired last year, but honestly, it looks fine, like it looks the same, so I think I'm gonna live, it's okay. <laughs> Mia is in the house. Hello! Literally. I'm and not as strong as she is and she's taking a shot of Well, I'm not. I'm, I'm putting on a front. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. Did you try the trick? No, I just tugged it. Mm. Actually, Take a little sip of this, it's coconut. I can't. <laughs> it's a little. Oh god. <laughs> oh. That's not bad. I, I know. Like, I like I'm the coconut shut up. flavor. This is what it is. Coconut flavor. I made coconut margus last weekend with that. It was really good. But I think there was like too many ingredients in the drink. Mm. And you know how creamy drinks just doesn't do it for you. Well, like, it's, your, it's, your stomach's already like mm -hmm. not good from the alcohol and then the like, literally, yeah. The dairy, I'm mm -hmm. like, oh no. A coconut milk? Is it dairy? No. Yeah. Yeah, it's coconut milk. We're going to rainy. I haven't been out at night in so long. I, I go out, like my ideal going out time is like, Happy hour at like six thirty seven. Yeah. Go to like a dinner, keep drinking. Yes, yes. Go yes. to a bar at like nine p.m. Dance till like ten eleven. Home by twelve in bed. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. I don't want to be out past that, but no. I'm I'm glad we're <laughs> yeah on the same. Yeah. Thing. yeah. Cool. So <laughs> but we'll be home tonight at a good hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, around like twelve, we're gonna look at each other and be like, yeah, pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I am so down for that. I know. I'm like a grandma. It's honestly so bad. I'm, what, kids, this is what happens when you turn 26 years old. Mm -hmm. I can't do it like I used to. Not that I really could do it before. But I want I want to. Like, I yeah, feel, you know what I mean? Yeah, like I want to be cool. It makes me sad. <laughs> it does? Yeah. Were you like a big partier before? No. <laughs> and I think that's why it makes me sad because I don't think it's like gotten got out. Yeah. Like, because even in college, like I look back and like, my, my friend group didn't really, I mean, like, maybe Saturdays, but, like, all my other story sisters would be, like, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you know, I know Sunday, Monday. I don't know stamina even back then. No, I am, like, I will never understand till this day, but I feel like I didn't go out enough. To I, I feel like living in New York has been bad for me because, like, it's not that I'm going out, like, a ton, but it's, like, Wednesday you'll go get drinks with this mm. person. Thursday you mm. have a date, so mm. it's like I have to drink on that mm. date. It's like, and everything is like a drinking related activity. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are the sober activities? Mm. Like we had so many when we were growing up. I don't. Damn. I feel like every activity is like kind of like drinking adjacent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, do you feel I, that way about here? No, but this is on my on my home. Yeah. I'm from Austin, one of the rare breeds of people yeah, who's is. from here. <laughs> uh, it's my favorite party trick to be at a bar and be like, yeah, I'm from Austin. And people are like, no, you're not. I'm like, yeah, I am. <laughs> you're lying. That's funny. Um, I know, whenever I hear someone's from there, I'm like, oh, 
what the heck? Yeah. Because like, <laughs> most people are like transplants. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And I think that's why the city's like growing so much. Yeah. Which is like great. Which is why I'm gonna get Ryan and Sonali to stay here until I move back because I need them to be my friends. <laughs> So then I'm just going to make all of them move. My parents live up north, so they're all just going to move up north to the lake with me. And we're all just going to hang out all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. I will veto that. <laughs> no. I'm a city girl. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't really count as a city because even like the downtown is like pretty like laid back. I know. I think that's what I like about it. I was literally texting my friends today and I was like, I'm wearing jeans out tonight. And they were I'm, like, they were like, can what? Can you not wear that there? I got turned away from a bar in New York for wearing jeans. Oh, that's kind of scary. Yeah. Oh, wait, we were in Dallas like literally yesterday. I know we were like eating dinner and I felt, it, I honestly felt uncomfortable because everyone was dressing so Dallas, nice. I feel like is really nice. That's what I like about Austin. Like, like, you can like, you can dress up if you want, but also like exactly. you're just like kind of like casual. Yeah. Not that like either of us are like casual right now, but like yeah. relatively. Like I'm not like, are you, oh, what shoes are you going to wear? Like sneakers. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see so like, I don't. I don't need to be wearing more than that. No. I'm not planning on like doing anything. Although I don't want my feet to hurt. Yeah, I know. Again, I'm an old woman. <laughs> and I feel like that's nice about Austin because even the nicest restaurant, well, okay, the nicest restaurant I feel like doesn't even have a dress code. Yeah. Barely. Like yeah. even like sushi bar, ATM, does it? But see, my parents or are the she... opposite. Like they don't like that. She like loves going to restaurants. She loves yeah. dressing up. Like we went to this like really nice steak restaurant last time yeah. I was here, and there were people like in jeans. And my mom was like, "Yeah." Boring rides. And she was like, "Just like I would, okay, this place." Like let's... no, I I you know what I, mean? I feel that because like when you want to dress up and then you see people casual, then you're, you're like, like, "Ugh." Like, yeah. Just I just like... want the one night to be dressed up. You and, know? Yeah, and you want other people around you to like have that energy mm -hmm. too. Exactly. But like Dallas, it was like. But I feel like Dallas is a <laughs> different energy animal. than New York yeah. like, because Dallas is also like a specific kind of elitism that's kind of... Yeah, I think we know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all know. <laughs> when I try to explain Austin to people in New York because I like don't really get it, I'm like, it's much it's very different. It's so different yeah. than the rest of Texas, but it's also just like different than the rest of the South. I was just telling Ryan, I was like... I know I live in Austin, but I don't feel like I live in Texas. No. Like, I don't That's live in Texas. I, when I tell people I'm from Texas, people are like, Oh, yeah. I have to say I'm from Austin. Yeah, I yeah. Tell, like, especially in New York, because the moment you um, say that you're from, like, Texas, yeah. people are like, Oh, like, you're from Texas. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm from Austin? Like, please don't, like, say that. I don't know if I told you this. The reason I messaged you on that Facebook post is because I remember meeting you so clearly mm -hmm. at oh, God. that events that we were yeah. at. So backstory. Yeah, backstory. <laughs> we met at a Diwali event, right? Yeah, the Diwali event. Like there is a really big Indian community in Atlanta and they yeah. like threw this like essentially pageant like party type situation. The you kids, mean the dances? No. Okay, not a pageant. I'm, no, I'm talking about when that, that like event where like there was like a hall and like the little kids like came up and they like did like what do you want to be when you grow up and every single like three year old was like, I want to be a doctor. Do you remember this? No, because I had the shittiest memory. Oh my god, it was it was like in like a it was in that old mall, that old like Yeah, I know global mall. Yeah, it was in the I know mall. Where it yeah, is. exactly. And I had never been to any of this like um, shit before, so I was so confused. Oh and so for me, like I was meeting all of you guys for the first time. For yeah. you, like yeah. I was like a random person. <laughs> it was all of these people that you had known for your whole life. Yeah, like, yeah, of yeah. course, like I remember it. Yeah. You know, you well, know what I mean? No, but I'll I also have the worst yes. memory ever. I remember it clearly because like I remember meeting you and like no. everyone was like, oh, that's a no, it's here. Like, like Mia. No, I'm not kidding. Stop. No, You're joking. I'm not kidding. Everyone was like obsessed with you. And like they all like You're like, actually like, talking out of your ass. You're not. talking out of your fucking there was, ass. There like, were two <laughs> sisters. They're like, yeah, they were like two sisters and like I had met them first and then you walked up and I remember also, I remember because I like followed you on Instagram and your family did this like beach photo shoot. <laughs> and you looked so pretty and I was like, wow, it's just so cool. You mean the YOLO photo? No, it was like all of you like sitting like on the beach. <laughs> a YOLO photo. <laughs> and I'll show you. I don't know what it was. What, what it was I have to search so, for like, it. So for years after, this is just so embarrassing. For years afterwards, like I would check up on you. And you really? Like, oh, yeah. And so when you posted on that Insta, like on that Facebook, that is so. I like funny. very much knew who you were. <laughs> like, I was, like, Wait, that is so funny. Yeah, like it was not. 
Okay, I gotta find this fucking yellow picture. I'm talking about how I stalked your girlfriend in high school. <laughs> yeah, actually? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> you too? Oh, okay. <laughs> You're lying. You didn't fucking yeah, know no. who I was. That's how you play cat and mouse. Ah! That's how you <laughs> find this. cat and mouse. Oh, are you playing hard to get? Oh! Did I see it? <gasps> Shut up! It was right there! Okay, that's Did not you see it? Yeah, I it saw it. It was the it. same exact fucking thing. It, that, but that wasn't the picture that I was referencing. Well, I know. Yeah. I know. But yes, but that, that was hilarious. Yes, that was <laughs> the, my dad was obsessed, and I think still is, probably with the uh, YOLO phrase. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had a beach photo shoot. He <laughs> wanted to do this, so. Yeah. <laughs> and. That's funny, actually. I was right. See? <laughs> And now we're friends, so yes. it's oh, okay for me to say this like years afterwards. No. Yes, yeah. it was this picture. Look how cute uh, she is. Wait, I don't know how to use this <laughs> the device. There we go. <laughs> Look how cute she is. Yeah. My face is feeling I'm shocked. already so dry. My face is not. I wear a hat or no? Babe, just fix your hair with the pomade. Pomade. Use my way matte pomade. Okay, we're going out. Peace. Tell them what you're using. <laughs> Stunning. Quiet. Babe, what? Way. It's way. Way. Everyone comment how handsome I look below. Family photo! <laughs> Morning, happy Saturday. It is actually the nicest day out and it's already noon and we woke up pretty late. Um, so, very sad, but it's okay. We'll try to make use of the daylight hours that we have. I wanted to slick my hair back yesterday, but I decided to wear it down. So today it's slicked back and this is my outfit. I have a full aloe set on. How cute. I think I want a smoothie or a chai. Actually, do you, where do you want to go? I said go? rose and bagels and to go back. I kind of want something like healthier. We're going to get um, <laughs> bird bird biscuit, but then I was like, mm, it's too heavy. Sushi Janai is in the menu tonight. No. No. Okay. Maybe something no, sushi, no. other other sushi. Sushi Janai is like all you can eat and it's like, it's like definitely like on the low totem pole of like quality, but it's, 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 it's a good bang for your mid, buck. Mid high. <clears throat> What's well, like the shittiest, probably that rotating one that we've been to, Kira. I think that was like the shittiest quality. Battery just died on us, which was good because I didn't even know my battery was low. So. Now, we are heading out to get some kind of breakfast. Not sure what, but I'm either craving a smoothie or I want a chai with my vanilla. Guys, I feel like whenever I get like obsessed with the food, I can't stop with it until I'm like so sick of it. And I saw a Snapchat memory of cowboy caviar. Should we make that soon? We're gonna, we're gonna try hard coffee right now with my caffeine fix. Yes. wanted tacos at Try Hard, but they sold out. And the last time me and Nancy went there, they had sold out of like almost everyone but two. And so I was like, how early do you guys sell out usually? And he was like, oh, we never sell out. Today we were just really busy. I was like, okay. <laughs> but hopefully, this is like so much smaller. Oh. Um, but yeah, hopefully one of these days, Ryan and I can try tacos. Well, I've already tried them. I only tried one, but it was really good. Anyways, we got bagels instead. Switched it up. You guys know our tradition after drinking is getting bird bird biscuit. I think I already said that. But today, I was like, you know what? We do that every day. Or every weekend. <laughs> so, every weekend. not every week. What? What? We drink every weekend even. Oh well, yeah, we don't drink every weekend. But I feel like we've gotten it, like, often. But, That's I don't like that. You don't like that? No. Right. Why would you want your bagel scooped out? The breading is the best part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, huh? The toppings are. So I just got a rosemary salt bagel with just regular cream cheese, which reminds me I need to take a lactate pill, but <laughs> let's see what this looks like. The rosemary salt is stunning. Look at that. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Look how beautiful that bagel is. Soon we'll be eating New York bagels. Mm. Again. We have some really unfortunate news <clears throat> to announce. Breaking out. No, but our cactus died. 
and I don't know if I showed you guys in the vlogs, but it's like really horrible. It's been dead for uh, three months now and we haven't really taken care of it. So yeah, we need to cut it. Ryan wants to see if it will regrow. I really don't think it will because it's really, really dead. So we're at the Stoss and Seculants, my favorite place. And I just want to get like some flowers or something for the deck, make it a little nicer. Look at all the cool cactus. There's so many like different kinds. That would scare me though. Cause like one little like touch. Yeah, Sophie could get hurt. Those are cool. Yeah. Maybe just like small ones like this, you know? Like a little, what are those called, babe? They're not cactuses. What are they? Yeah, sorry. like a little succulent garden in that little uh, pot that we have or cactus in currently. We're keeping the cactus in there, so. Oh, true, yeah, I guess. I really don't think it's gonna regrow, but look at that. I like these. Basically, we had one of those cactus, like huge, and it was not cheap, y'all. So, very sad that it died, but. The stupid Austin freezes just like kills everything. That happens every year, so maybe I should have known. Yeah, this place is so cool. I also think we should get like some flowers or something. They have like really nice pottery and all this. I would love to get some of those. Guys, I just want a house so I can just garden. But I say that now and I probably won't want a garden. <laughs> yeah. I'll probably like want to do it for one day and be like, oh, break this, you know? Yeah, so basically, our cactus, it was getting really skinny at the top because we had it inside, so it needs direct sunlight, so we put it outside, and then we forgot to bring it in during the freeze, or we, we, we weren't even home, so. Okay, we found what we're looking for, and it's not that expensive, but there's like two or three different kind, and I think that's the one we want to get right there. No, that one looks healthy, that one looks dead. The one before it. Freeze doesn't kill this one. We need to figure out how to water it and stuff yeah. too. Yeah, this time we're gonna actually ask the people. <laughs> I mean, it probably definitely gives us. All right, spring through fall, perfect timing. Full sun to part shade, um, low to moderate water. And I also have like those bulbs that can like water itself too. Yeah. Just bring it inside if it's gonna freeze mm. during the winter and it should be fine. And you should be good to put it outside like during the daytime during the winter. Okay, okay. Sure. It's been cut and I don't think it's gonna regrow, so let's see. This is what it looks like and it's pretty much weightless. It feels like cardboard or something. It's so dried up. You can see it better, but there's like little pieces of wood. You see that? That's weird. You get spine, I guess. Is it good girl? Sophie. Good morning, happy Sunday. We are going to the farmer's market. We both were talking on our road trip back from Dallas and one of our like little road trip questions was, what is your ideal weekend? And we both said Sunday's farmer's market. So we're doing that. Yeah, with Sophie. Sophie's here with us. Say hi. Don't be rude. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go to the farmer's market and then um, we both have like two returns to do um, at like the domain area. I have to return one of the bronzers I got. I think I want to get a darker color in it because it just like wasn't really showing up on my skin and it's not very cheap so I wanted to exchange it and then Ryan's got like a Dick's Sporting Goods return or something yeah, like that. concealer I need to return. A concealer? Like yeah, okay. <laughs> We're just having a little wholesome weekend. Aren't we Sophie? Why are you whining? There's specific things that I always get when I come to the farmer's market. One being the citrus lemonade. It's so good um, but I'm gonna try to ask for light ice because it melts so quickly but also it's pretty cold out today so maybe it won't melt that quickly. Um, and then the shoe. I think it was like just like the lamb wrap from Lambda Indian Kitchen. I think that's what it's called. It's so good. We should get some curry this time from the um, little stand. So we're gonna get it last time. I can't remember why we didn't. But, um, and then Ryan, what do you get? Tacos, right? Um, I'm gonna get a pork belly tacos, but I don't think I want that today. I just want some coffee. Nice. 
skinny queen. Yeah. <laughs> we got some almond croissants, or I got an almond croissant, chocolate almond croissant. I've never had one before, so we're gonna do a little taste test. You like it? This is warm. Yeah. There was like a whole strip of vendors that weren't there at the farmer's market today, which included the Indian like lamb wrap that I always get, which is so sad. And then I just like didn't really want the lemonade, but we did get those like Thai meal kits and I've gotten so many people saying that like I need to try them. So I'm very excited to cook that tonight. We got tomka soup and then uh, did we get green curry or red curry? Um, but now it's time to make our returns. We are at the domain and we got here like right at 12. I think place is open right at 12. So hopefully the Sephora line is like not that bad. Um, but it is the last day of the sale. So kind of expecting the worst and just hoping for the best. <laughs> A lot later it's almost eight o'clock and it is time to make dinner nowadays since the sun sets so much later ryan comes home like at nine it feels like so we eat dinner kind of late now which i don't really love honestly i think i just need to get in the habit of eating without him like preparing the food eating without him and just like eating earlier because i do not like to eat this late but i was editing and like you know doing some work so it worked out fine but these are the two things that we are going to cook tonight um so we have red curry and then tomka soup and guys i'm not gonna lie i'm nervous there's a thai eggplant in here i have no idea how to cook so i'm gonna have to look that up um but i just got like some water boiling for the um soup i also feel like i can't film too much just because i feel like i'm going to be already so flustered with like figuring out how to cook this stuff and doing two at once. Like I am not a multitasker in the kitchen. I've tried and it really, really failed me every single time. So today I'm gonna really try to focus and like do it well. Um, but we did get some meat because these didn't come with meat. So we got um, some kind of beef and then chicken as well. So I think I'm gonna just like go ahead and chop the chicken up. This is the red curry and everything was really good. I feel like I wish the soup had more of the flavor. There's like a packet that they give you of the concentrate. I wish they had more of that because I feel like it just needed a little bit more flavor, but it was still really good. And I'd definitely do this again. I feel like it's inspiring me to like do HelloFresh. I've always told myself that I wanted to do that, but I never did. Um, but I feel like it will help me to like get me back in the kitchen and cooking and get inspired. So I need to look into that. If you guys have tried all of those like meal kit things, which one is the best? There's Green Chef, is there Green Chef, Hello Chef? And I'm wondering if there's like an ethnic one, you know, that has like not just like taco bowls because I feel like I could easily make that. But anyways, this was really good. And I'm gonna end the vlog here. I feel like my past few vlogs have been a little bit all over the place. I'm really hoping to, you know, get back on my grind. I have one more week of grad season. Life isn't slowing down though because I have a trip 
um, the week right after a really really exciting trip that I haven't really shared with you guys um, what it's about so very excited for that if you guys aren't following me on Instagram and TikTok go ahead and do that it's so underscore gnarly without the G and I will see you guys in my next video bye